Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, SliceOnBroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It's the Wrestling Mayhem Show 556. I'm Mike Sorgat Sorgatron on the Twitter from the Mayhem Studios here in Pittsburgh, PA. Ready to talk professional wrestling with my compatriots here. Some in the studio, some abroad, all over the place. So let's get into it. First of all, down the line for Inipin Poughkeepsie, New York, it is Mad Mike. Sorgat, I don't appreciate being called abroad. Oh, oh no. I'm just saying. I, I I find that term very offensive. Also with us on the line is Rob Brown up north of town, somewhere out there. Like a, a whole half hour or so. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like a whole half hour. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're like abroad. You're kind of you're kind of <laughs> yeah, riz, abroad, yeah. Yeah. riz distance. Exactly. Uh, Rob is a video videographer with us. Helps us a, a lot with the Renegade Wrestling Alliance and IWC shows. It's good times. Good times. Absolutely. And also with us, we got some people in the studio. Well, first of all, there's a uh, uh, producer Missy's over there hanging out. Hi guys. Hey, that's a monkey hey over her shoulder. Uh, and a Hogan. And a Hogan. Hogan and joking his sad monkey. Sad brother. Hogan is you joking. Tell the difference. Monkey. That's our listener challenge. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, that got maybe maybe awkward for a moment. That got weird. Also yeah. with us, yeah. uh, with the 205 live check-in is. Larry, Mutilator Larry joining us. Hello. Hello. And of course, hey, he's back. He's a Renegade right. Wrestling Alliance uh, announcer. Say that one time fast. Yes. I said it backwards. That's the problem. He is old <laughs> school <laughs> Bert LeGrand. Paul is dead. How are we doing, guys? <laughs> and regaling us with, with new Honky Tonk Man stories. Exclusively the... for Wrestling Mayhem Gold. Exactly. Check yes. that out on the Patreon. We'll get to that in a moment. Thank you, thank you for joining us once again. No and problem. And, of course, it is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can check us out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, video versions on the YouTube and the Facebook pages, including a live stream like we're doing right now. And our friends joining us in the chat room, like Trey Gar, like Billy Johnson, uh, who will be joining us <laughs> How can RWA compete with Hooven Ground? We'll find out in a couple of weeks. Uh, and so many more. Matt Collins is already sneaking in there. I hope he's not driving. He'll be joining us for Mayhem Mania Round 2 coming up later in this episode, of course. And uh, you can join us live at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Whatever technology we happen to be using that week, because sometimes they go down, uh, will be linked, linked or embedded there. And you can join us um, on Facebook Live currently like all these fine, fine wrestling fans are this evening. You can also drop us a line to the uh, email address. Good times times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. And you can also drop us a line at 412-206-WMS0. I like that only Missy in the studio did that, and she's the one that didn't have her mic on. <laughs> so, <laughs> Sorry, I was distracted by Jack I, Gallagher's I did it. tights. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm saying in studio. In yeah. studio, I'm, I'm, I'm saying. You didn't have any oh, in-studio assistance uh, <laughs> going okay, on too so. much. So, um, Also, you can check us out. What is it? I have SoundCloud listed here. Are we on SoundCloud? Are we still on? Uh, cool. I, I I need to I need to double check these. Well, it's uh, a sexy SoundCloud, man. Oh, there's that too. Um, you can um, also uh, please leave a comment. Please share the show or however you would like to. Rob is dying over there. Mute oh, button, no. man. Mute button. Uh, but anyways, uh, and you can support the show Patreon.com/slash Wrestling Mayhem Show, where you'll get the uh, honky tonk man stories from yes. Bert Legrand. You get a story about how Shane Taylor was almost arrested with Ray Rowe and uh, and and Keith Lee uh, from last week. Uh, you know, all kinds of fun stuff we have going on there. Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Thank you for to our supporters, such as Bo Diggity. Woo! And as well as Christopher Bishop, Ed Burke, Matthew and Jeremy for Carlos Foundation for Podcast Betterment. Trey Garcia, that's Tregar out there in the chat land. Uh, join us in, 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 and thank you so much for supporting the show. Uh, there. So let's get into the show. Let's talk about pro wrestling of the professional type. 
Um, there was a pretty big show this weekend. Of, I think it's their first. Uh, yeah, it, it was our first kind of big Royal Rumble where we kind of were getting that weekend kind of effect a bit more. Yep. Like we do WrestleMania, SummerSlam, even Survivor Series a little bit <clears> with TakeOver and everything like that. Uh, so, uh, and, and, and what are you waving at me? I, I am waving at you. Missy has something to say about this. <laughs> because we're going to be talking. Can I have some microphone over here? <laughs> you got a lot of microphone. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yes. Um, I'm so excited because we asked people to share with us their thoughts about the Royal Rumble by calling our voicemail line. Guys, Uh-oh. we have a voicemail this week. We do have wow. a voicemail. Yes. We have a voicemail. That I need to queue up. Okay. That's, that's why I'm getting Sorg's attention over here because and I want him to queue this up. Keep that going while <clears throat> I queue that so, up. So, um, yeah, the Royal Rumble happened this week. So, mm-hmm. Larry, you watched the Royal Rumble with me. I did. Well, not with me, but with, with Sorg. What are your thoughts on the Royal Rumble? I enjoyed it. There weren't as many surprises as last year, surprise entries as last year, and I like the surprise entries, but there were a lot more storyline builds this year, which I kind of enjoy more considering the lack of them. Okay. In general. That that makes sense. I see that. That makes sense. Yeah. Sorg, what are you laughing at? Well, apparently Google Voice um censors. Oh. When they do the transcription. Ah. So it has to be censors, what you're saying. No, well, I don't think the voicemail itself is going to be censored. No, right, right, right. But the but the, the fact the, the fact that it has to be censored to begin with yeah, is, is, very is, is a pretty good indication of what's going to happen yeah. here. So we're going to load this up and see what our voicemailer had to say. I know professional here, right? Dun, dun, dun. It does a little wow. bit. Wow, um, it's was, was that completely made of questions? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he needs sentences. He needs subjects. And Mike, uh, what? Mike, what? Mike, this caller Don't sounds worry, strangely though. like you. Um, uh, uh, how was your? He had a your, sexy voice. How is your feeling e- since since this 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 call? Um, has not changed much. Mm-hmm. Um, raw has not helped that. Um. We talked about that on the on the raw. We did, up. we did to the point to the point yeah. where we have a running bet now. That huh? I have I have bet this twenty Thai bot. <laughs> yes, that yes. I brought back from Thailand because I don't yeah. know where to exchange it. That's authentic. And, and I, have, I have bet fifty cents Canadian. Yes, yes. Because you also because, don't know where to exchange that. Because he's closer to Canada than I am. <laughs> This is true. like forty eight cents American. It, it, exactly. Well, I mean, I, I think this might we be will about. We'll see who who knows even. how much this, more there'll be in them. This may also yeah, be forty eight cents. So there's there's that. Um, I'm assuming we're not even going to have an economy in a month. <laughs> anyway, see, there you go. Do you have something, Larry? Oh yeah, I was gonna add. I was gonna jump in on that bet too. Oh yeah, he went <laughs> on the bet. I was, this is, this I, is, this I was gonna bet one uh, Dubai Durham. Oh yes, Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Well, wait, wait, we we don't even know which side of the bet you're on. So <laughs> yeah. we we set up this bet on the raw wrap up last night, Mike. It what just is sounds fun? What is the bet? So we can we can we can set it up here. Uh, the bet is that Samoa Joe will be in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal at WrestleMania. And what are you betting? That's my that that's what I think. Oh, you think so it will? will? Okay, well then. Wait, I I, I'm I... literally I'm literally saying that over the rest of the card. I thought I thought <laughs> we were betting whether Roman was going to be in a title match. Oh no, that yeah that. Wait. Wait, are there two bets? Yeah, I, is this like prop damn it! Now like, I forget. Now is, I have to listen to the the We're still two months what? out. This, this is be complicated. Yeah, which which maybe we should bet. I, on I gotta know what I'm we putting. Need, my, we need a third thing so we can have a on. It was literally one night ago. 
<laughs> it was yeah. a, it was a long night. <laughs> like, how was your, how was your day, so How was your day? I, I, think, I, we're was, still, I, I think we're I still was, betting on who's going to win the Rumble, huh? I was really angry about a lot of things. <laughs> we, were, we were, man, I edited like two really long podcasts today. <laughs> like really long. Um, so there you go. I'm betting on something. Um, I, I, I believe Roman won't. Either way, I believe Roman won't be in a title match. And I believe that Samoa Joe. Actually, no, I, I, I believe. I was down with the idea of Samoa Joe, to be honest. So okay, so so it must have been the Roman being. Don't worry about the dog. There's a news reporter at our door. At our oh. door. Oh, the news a, new, a news hound, if a you will. A news hound, if you will. There you go. Uh, <laughs> the thumbs up. Uh, anyways, go Bert. What did you think of the Rumble? I liked it, and here's and here's the big thing I see. And I'm, I love the fact that I always come on after the Rumbles. I, last year I didn't, but 2015 <laughs> I did, and. I'm reminded of the story, the, the comments about the lack of surprises and, and and how the WWE's one job is to have an unexpected winner. It's almost like, for me, it's like, says who? Let let them do their thing. And I'm, when, I, when, I, when I hear the criticism about, oh, there were no surprises this year, it was only you know, one non-roster surprise, Dillinger, let them do their thing. I, I'm reminded of the story that Jim Cornette tells, the famous, the famous one where he tells about the ECW, if anyone's with me, please feel free to chime in and help. But where he, um, uh, the, whoever, it wasn't Paul, it was like somebody in the ECW, they, they wheeled him in as part of their, their surprise for the show. And they told, and, and Cornette's were like, what, what the hell's going on? And the promoter says, well, you're the surprise this week. Cornette says, the surprise this week? Well, every week we have a surprise. And, well, how could it be a surprise with something every week? So I, I think... The fact that there was no surprise is enough of a surprise, you know. In, in that way, you know. I mean, okay. I was surprised that Roman was thirty because I was expecting literally anything to happen. I love it. I love that Roman was thirty. It was almost just like okay, because there's one thing. There's a fan in us that wants to see. Oh, we want to see Samoa Joe. We want to see Kenny Omega. We want to see Angle or whoever. But there's also the context in which the WWE exists. You do have thirty people in the main event who want a shot at the title. Why wouldn't it be thirty people who are in the WWE fighting for that shot? Why would it be, you know, a random person from out of nowhere? Yes, it's nice to pop the crowd every now and then, and the Dillinger thing was cute. But you know, in the context of the story of the product you're watching, why wouldn't thirty established people want a shot at the biggest prize in the company? Ostensibly argument to that these are supposed to be numbers drawn at random right (laughs) oh no no i think we throw that idea out i mean mean, okay come on but but if if roman reigns can a not only draw a number after losing his belt right and get number 30 which okay i'll suspend disbelief for that the the samoan prince is very lucky with picking things i'll suspend disbelief for that (laughs) Why wasn't AJ in the match? A good point. A mm-hmm. very good point. Because Roman point. Reigns got bulldozed through a fucking table by Braun Strowman. Mm-hmm. Why not have Roman come out a little bit earlier <clears throat> when, I don't know, Braun Strowman was fucking in the ring? Maybe AJ had to use the bathroom. But, but then it the would day. be like... That's a long bathroom break. <laughs> but then yeah. it would be like, the oh, point. of course they're going to run into each other in the Rumble. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, I mean, I I think history of Rumble, you 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 kind of suspend that, like John Cena coming out oh, like sure. one of the last when when he was unannounced, right? Right. You know things like that. You know, I mean, but it's... John Cena was also injured for months. Right. Yeah. That's the reason that was a surprise. Right. Right. It and... wasn't like oh, we just saw him an hour ago. <laughs> yeah. Here's right. your, here's right. your here's your number. Right. <laughs> um. So I don't. I I I'm kind of oh I'm. Oh, I, I, wait, 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 I assume wait, 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 Vince wait, wait, just got wait, wait, confused. Okay, we're back. We're back. Okay, I, I thought. I'm sorry. I, I, I thought this, I, I thought the to, show was crashing. To that. To I, that end, I appreciated <laughs> the fact that Sam, in Sami Zayn's case, there was a number that was actually announced beforehand, and, and by the time the Rumble came around, I totally forgot who number what number eight was until like three seconds before he came out. It's not like there isn't a precedent right. of of what. You know, of, oh, right. of saying, "Oh, you're number one. Oh, you're right. number X." Right. So, so I mean, and also, I will also counter with, "Did you see that tumbler?" 
No, yeah. there weren't thirty balls in that. Of course not. Come course on, not. come on. It, it was like it, these are the yeah, ones. Sword, these are the sword, ones. And those things were huge. It, they were huge. It, it did they sit, were huge, yeah. and they're well, apparently very ball. hard to open. Yeah. With Sami Zayn, it did. Sit, it, it sword, did. Some people already got their numbers. It did. That's it did why sit, there weren't thirty balls in there. Right, right. We we had already yeah. handed a number to Brock and Taker, and and it, it, it did. It did set up the great Dean Ambrose joke, which which I laughed way too hard. That was fun. Turning it upside down and still getting eight. It was just. That it, was it, it was so dumb. It was so funny. It, it would have been even funnier if he said if he read it sideways and like the infinity. <laughs> <laughs> infinity. <laughs> if, like, yes. Wait, infinity. Does that mean you can just stay? <laughs> 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 it's like you got the forever ball. Yeah, Dean Ambrose. yeah exactly. Exactly. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. That'd be awful. If, if I can go back to the whole uh, Ty Dillinger thing, I think it's kind that, of interesting. That was good. I, it, was, it was a great surprise that he came out at number 10. Um, but no, I, I was really excited to see to some NXT <laughs> right, talent right. come in for it because for me, I don't get to watch a whole lot of NXT because mm-hmm. Sorg watches it without me. Hey, oh. hey, hey, hey. That was very extraneous. <laughs> oh, no. That was your only point. Nothing about Ty Dillinger. No, 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 no. <laughs> but what I'm saying is it's, it's a really great introduction to people who might not be watching an NXT otherwise. They look at this guy who's in the Royal Rumble and they're going, who's, who's this? So they check him out. They find out that he's on NXT, and now they're introduced to NXT. Although, judging by the crowd, they were very aware of right. who oh, he the, is. Oh, the crowd was very so. aware. Well, that's like, three years, like three years ago when they had, like I think, Rusev. Yeah, Rusev right? did. Yeah. And then, he, and then they didn't really have him on for a little while still, but you still knew who he was when right. he, you know, when they did make him a regular part of the, the yeah. roster. Yeah. The only NXT person I would have accepted to be there on Sunday just because I our personal interest – would have been Bobby Roode just to see the glorious entrance. Mm-hmm. That deserves <laughs> the biggest stage as possible. ASAP. Can you imagine how long that would have taken? <laughs> right. Yeah. The next hour coming. The next hour coming after that, he he'd get lapped. But you know, if, if he'd come first... out at twenty eight and would have, <laughs> wouldn't have gotten to the ring until like the match had been over for Cra- when, be rolling. Whenever Bobby Roode makes his main roster debut, he needs to ride out for the Rumble on a Roomba. <laughs> yeah, right. That would make sense. Like he needs to ride out spinning and holding his arms out. He needed that cart for the big guys. Okay. I can't believe they did that. Are, are we ready to transition to to take over? No, okay. not really. Not Damn really. Because that was that was like the perfect transition for in my head. It would have been. Yes, it would have been. Right. Okay, what do you have to say about takeover? Well, I was going to talk about the the Bobby Roode. Right. His entrance. Did he bring back the hoe train? <laughs> Like, yes. <laughs> it's, 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 what was I, what was I saying like the, the other night? It was a combination of Flair, right. Rude, and the Million Dollar Man. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. All at once. Like Flair from the Flair Steamboat matches with, with now, the see, whole hair yeah. on, on both I, I thought they time. missed an opportunity, right. though. I thought they missed an opportunity. Yeah. I thought when he was going to get into the ring, they were all going to have a one letter sign because he had eight women. There's right. eight letters in Glorious. Oh. How was that not a thing? And then we got the glorious, glorious, yes, at the yeah, end. yeah. So the, the, L, a rhino. the L that yeah. fell asleep, huge <laughs> rhino fan. <laughs> that was great. All right, we got some stuff from the chat room. I want to touch on. Uh, first of all, Tina saying, "Didn't anyone see this coming? Since the Universal Title was the second match, did we not learn anything from WrestleMania 31 when Seth Rollins cashed in?" Uh, Trey, Traegar out there. Wait a minute. Is someone on this podcast contending that the numbers are not chosen by random? Hashtag what? still real to me. What? <laughs> what? Uh, and no, Billy. Like I, said, I, would, I would grant that. I would, just... I would grant that. That's fine. But AJ should have gotten a number two. Uh, yes. Uh, what was that? I said you also have to touch upon Trey's follow-up comment when they were doing the replay stuff about pre- previous rumbles. And the the countdown, mm-hmm. Santino mm-hmm. wasn't ready. No, That's no, right. he wasn't. If no, he would have had Sean, it could have been. I mean, look what he did at one time when when he oh, was I, ready. He got in the final one thing four. I have to say, I did like how they're able to sidestep the Benoit issue this year. Of course, <laughs> no, because no, because they they said like four people have won from between numbers one through seven. I'm like. Oh, that's cute. You can show more people this way. <laughs> they can show they can <laughs> they show said, Sean they can show Sean, Ray, and Flair. Yeah. And they don't have to show who that fourth guy was. Well they said they said yeah, they said four, but they showed three. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. Just like straight up. Like 
Who's that fourth yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah, here's they never four, of, the fourth four guy. of them, including so, da, but, da, da. It, right. Yeah. But see, so they, it's like they, you're acknowledging it, you nerds, they also but we're said, not going to say. They also <laughs> said Shawn Michaels won two. So people who don't know, they're like, oh, Shawn must have won twice from the early spots. Right. Because he was right. in the main event in WrestleMania 20, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, math. And uh, Billy's out there it. saying, how the hell does James Ellsworth in a spot when they could have had Root or another top NXT guy in it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think that it, was was for my... the, it was for that bump. It had to be for that bump. That, was that my... bump was worth it. That was my biggest disappointment for the Rumble was that Ellsworth did not eliminate Braun Strowman. Because yeah. he screwed, he screwed him out of the Survivor he Series. Too. He could have yeah. pulled him he out because right. he was outside the, the ring when they were doing the, yeah. you know. Yeah. That yeah. could have been an ongoing gag for at least six more pay-per-views. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it it could have been Maven eliminates The Undertaker. Right. Yeah. That could have been his Rumble match. see the next half hour is Braun Strowman just kicking his ass all over the building, right? And he finally crawls back as soon as, as soon as, like, Roman's coming yeah. out for number twenty for number thirty, <laughs> and Roman just sees him crawling to the ring and tosses him in the ring. That would be the great use of that whole WWE second screen thing. Whenever they try that, screen, oh, screen one yeah. is the rumble. Screen two is him beating the ever loving piss out of Ellsworth. <laughs> it's just following yeah. Ellsworth around if, for the next forty five minutes. If right. we yeah. ever bring, yeah. if we ever bring back the hardcore title, they need to bring back the second screen experience <laughs> yeah. and just attach oh, a just yes. attach a fucking GoPro to the hardcore <laughs> champion. Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Oh. There, there's some more comments. Bobby's saying he watched the 2004 Rumble on Sunday before before Rumble and was oh. depressed the entire day. <laughs> oh, Bobby, oh, why no. did you do that? You know like, what you're getting into. Like, like we, we don't double check who won this one before we go and watch it, right? Yeah. So, well, you don't know. Oh, like, I know who won that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah great, great Topa Big Show did to eliminate himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow uh yeah and other than that uh, uh great matches on the show yep. uh, i had one particular thought i was thinking like the next day thinking back to royal rumble i don't know when the show began like i don't know when the pay-per-view sh- started i, I didn't when realize I, it was starting till seven until about 10 till seven and i was looking just to see if there was like yeah, the well, early start. i watched the pre-show right yeah and i literally don't remember <laughs> what match started the night officially for the show because oh. the pre-show matches were good matches i right. think right? it was the cesaro sheamus tag yeah. team match. no that the was women, pre-show the women that started, was the, pre-show. The, women, that was the, pre-show. the women started the show women started the show officially Char- charlotte and bailey yeah is that, is that what yeah. happened Oh, yeah. I mean, in the pre-show, there was a women's match, too, there right? Two. There in the two. pre-show, there were two of them. Six, the, six, oh, wow. the six person in, uh, yeah. in uh, Sasha and I. And, and the, the tag, the tag yeah. match. And the tag the match. The tag match where Luke, Gallows and Anderson won the belts. Yes. And, uh, it, it, yeah, it's 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 <laughs> this was a legitimate five-hour at least show. Right. And, yeah, it was six hours with, with uh, the whole pre-show and everything. We had a match probably around... 5 30 or something like that eastern standard time uh but <laughs> about a half hour into it but so so like and and i don't know probably because it was the rumble match and everything it didn't feel as ungodly long as wrestlemania did right. last year absolutely uh yeah, yeah it did but they were all I like because so. there were only four matches before the rumble I, right but they were all like title matches that yeah, were no yeah. not title you know, but expected still to go long and, well, oh yeah, and, on there, yeah you, title there. you knew it was coming last with the rumble i literally fell asleep yeah. during triple h and reigns at mania last year yeah that's true too i literally uh, fell asleep for like yeah. half the match it was it was too much it, it was too it much was way too much <laughs> So is this where we mentioned the uh, carts bringing the engines <laughs> to the ring <laughs> to save time? Right. Yeah, because because they had those hard cam shots where where yeah. they did the everybody stops to see who's coming next, and then it's like just dead stop, and it's like thirty seconds of guys just looking. Mm. At least you didn't hear like at least they weren't going backwards, and all you heard was a beep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been awesome. Because I would, I would have just thought golf carts. You know, I, I would have just thought due to dumpster Jersey was coming out at every entrance. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you're secretly hoping that he. You That's know. right. Uh, there's still like, three numbers left. I can't remember you know? who it was. But who was it with the flat line for their music entrance music? Uh, Taz. Oh, Taz. Taz. Yeah, right, That's right. who it was. Right. Whenever I hear that, why didn't he come out at number thirteen? You know, right. <laughs> ever. ever. Why don't we have a number assigned to everyone? Yeah. <laughs> Just like everyone gets their sp- like AJ should come out at number one because he's the phenomenal one. Well, this year we had two, uh, we had or who two was, people. Who was he in- 
We actually oh, had, sorry. had two people with their numbers on their tights, which made it a lot easier. Dillinger had 10. Baron Corbin was 13, and he had number 13. Oh, okay. That made, yeah, that, made it so much, that made it so much easier. Everybody should do that. Like yeah. uniform numbers. <laughs> like like Jack I Robinson custom gear just for that show. Right. <laughs> Speaking of, for those that don't know what we're talking about on, on the video feed, nope, that's Missy. There is uh, the big show on a golf cart looking serious. Like it's a parade. <laughs> like it's, yeah, it's, right. it's like a big show parade. Is he throwing candy for all the kids? Big I'm not going to lie, though. I kind of want them to bring back the WrestleMania ring rope right. cart. A little bit, a little bit, right? The, the I kind of want them to bring yeah. that back. The thing that I missed about the, like that said, whole big like show photo right there. <laughs> Is he's not doing like the Miss America wave, right. <laughs> I, which, which I think Big E was. Big E was. Oh, Big E had fun with it. This, he was riding it. When you're riding that thing out, you got to be like, "What am I supposed to be doing <laughs> yeah. here?" You know, yeah, the yeah, dumbest thing be, ever. Do I do the walking the best, motion? Like I. <laughs> the best was wait, 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 wait Matt. Uh, the reporter is talking. Okay. I just wanted to say that I was re- I was rewatching the Rumble yesterday, and the first big guy that comes in who rides the cart, I think it's Strowman, and. As he's making his entrance and they cut away to the ring, you can hear Lawler react to them jumping on the golf cart. And he's like, oh, oh, oh. You know? And then, like, someone wants to go in his ear and be like, don't say anything about the golf cart. And then, like, there's never another word about it. <laughs> I need to go back and listen to that. Now. You, like, Lawler reacts to it on camera. While you're on microphone, you also need to tell everybody what you put in the chat room. About the numbering system. They all need to wear bibs like marathon runners. <laughs> <laughs> and then when they get eliminated... That would be- anyone who runs a marathon hopefully will laugh at this. When they get eliminated, they have to tear off the like the bottom ticket and they have to hand it to the referee <laughs> yeah. so they can keep the order straight. <laughs> that, would, that would make the sprint. And go through the line and they get all bleak. they get a giant piece of aluminum foil to wrap around their body as they walk back to the dressing room. That would make our spreadsheet a whole lot easier. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> water as we need back. this for science. <laughs> Do you guys uh, happen to follow Biggie on Twitter? Yeah. Well, I saw the tweet. The tweet got okay. around. Yeah. Yeah, the the tweet uh, Biggie tweeted last night. Almost certain, getting off, getting the golf cart Royal Rumble entrance was the company's not so subtle way of telling me I'm fat. <laughs> That's the other thing. Now, I kind of like. I'm I'm surprised they didn't have any kind of like Fred Flintstone moments with the uh, you know the brontosaurus ribs slipping <laughs> over the car, but <laughs> with like these 500 pound guys standing on the back, just <laughs> the golf cart's just riding a wheelie the whole way down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm looking for the. I'm trying to look for the Braun uh, 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 clip here, uh, because that that was pretty amazing. So not everybody got the yeah. golf cart treatment, of course, too. Right. Like it was like uh, the the word was they did it for people that you know it wouldn't make look right for them to like Bray Wyatt with his lamp mm. rolling right down apparently in the golf cart. Jogging so, lightly down the aisle. With, with, with yeah. Although <laughs> if Bray if Bray was in the rocking chair. On the cart, that, that would, would have been amazing. <laughs> and what did I say? What, no. did, what did I say at the beginning of the night? I was like, "Oh, that, 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 that's so long. They need they need Nakamura's right. uh, seizure cart from the night before a takeover right. to get him down the aisle." <laughs> Little was, did I know, it was hilariously long. <laughs> it was. It was long. I mean, just hilar- like I, I couldn't help but laugh at like half the entrances. That was a WrestleMania aisle, right? I mean, it was. It was a- but see, here's the thing: Did they use a cart? The last time the Rumble was in the Alamo Dome? Well, yeah, I don't know. I remember that. Yeah. And they had a lot of old guys on that show, too. Wasn't yeah. Like, yeah. Bill Mascaris and, like, Dick Slater and these guys that just, yeah. like, had to take them forever to get like, down did, there. Did they just make those fuckers run? <laughs> it was take her like, under the ring hey, for Mill. all five hours. <laughs> get the fuck out there. By the way, I'm, I'm playing the gif of uh, Bronze from <laughs> Oh, and we retweeted this the, the new Chilling. greatest gif of all time from Chats WWW and, and I got a comment I'm like I literally had no idea that right. this was happening no. during the show no they did yeah. a good job of hiding it they yeah. did an amazing job of hiding it now, I, now did they, they was this something they were doing the whole time or did they decide like a few guys in that, it, hey, no no I think it, I think it's select people were kind yeah. of assigned cart duty right so. yeah. but uh, you know what and if they had just let people walk out, maybe the show wouldn't have been 20 minutes short. <laughs> I'm not sad at my 20 minutes short when the show started at 5 p.m. <laughs> right, yeah. the okay. The the show I'm not watched. really. The record? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. I feel like, Mike, I feel like I got my money's worth. I I, yeah. I got my nine ninety nine. Yeah, I got my nine ninety nine a month. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. so. we got TakeOver and we got Rumble. So even if, you know, right. if it would have been I, a little bit no, shorter. No, I... I 
And I've said this many times on the show. I don't pay for pay per views. No, no, no. Mike, I don't pay, Mike, I, the way I break it down, the pay per views are free. I pay two fifty per week per episode of NXT. There you go. There you go. There you go. Plus two hundred five live. Yep. Well, and we, we got, no, I'm getting a bargain. You got to remap that. <laughs> now it's like what two two well two fifty per week <laughs> per episode. Hell, I'll just pay two fifty a week for two hundred five live. <gasps> two, I'm paying two hundred five a week for two hundred five live. That's, wow. That's not the right math. No, well, it's close. It's close to the plus tax. Plus tax. Plus tax. tax. The left. Oh, no, 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 I got it. No, no. Obviously, obviously, for for all the other programs. Obviously, the leftover change of that equation is for unfiltered with Renee Young. I get it. I get it. Canadians. No, sorry, it's the sales tax. It's the sales, sales tax. tax. Right. Mr. Carlin's over here has has his own thoughts on on the math. Well, is, are you mathing? Oh, no. He is he's I, mathing. He's mathing. <laughs> mathing. I like how Missy Matt announces when I have a thought. <laughs> yeah, right. You put it in the chat room. Well, like I, you you screen being... it and you let me know if it's worth sharing with everyone, and then I let everybody know. <laughs> That's what a producer does. Right. She's, she's quality control. Um, I, I told the, the chat room that I thought I paid nine ninety nine for takeover, and I was getting the rumble for free. <laughs> There you go. That's good. Okay. There you go. See? Yeah. I mean, heck, I would have paid nine ninety five for that documentary they did. They showed last night. Nine ninety five. Nine, what are those extra four cents? Are you paying? Did you, have a, coupon are you code? Paying? did you have a coupon code or something for that? Yeah. <laughs> 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 so just... <laughs> Sorry. Billy Johnson is also weighing in in the chat room. Forty five cents a week for Smack Talk. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a good one. Yes. Talking Smack yes. is great. <laughs> Talk is smack, yes. Uh, and, uh, yeah, like, did we smack. choose how our how our nine ninety nine is distributed yeah. to fund certain original programs? Or... It's like it's like use, yeah. fan funding on YouTube. Wait, <laughs> how much are you guys paying for Holy Foley? <laughs> Negative um, a dollar. Yeah. Negative a dollar. Yeah. No, they no, actually, no, no. I, they I actually owe I think me Foley money. owes me money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have to cancel my subscription. Um, every other week for it. it was brought up a little <laughs> bit. Brought up a little bit in the chat room. Charlotte versus Bailey. Do we have yeah. any thoughts yeah. on Charlotte versus Bailey? Oh yay! Charlotte won our pay per view match. Yeah, oh, um, no. the show start. What's that? I thought that was his response to when did the show actually start. Yeah, oh, that, that's I'm what sorry. Was yeah. Well, I thought it was sorry. worth bringing up. I thought they had a good match. I, I thought it was when the show started. But I think it's I think too it was, early it was, to really make it. You know, like make us think Bailey was going to win it all. Yeah, absolutely, right, right, absolutely. Right. But yeah. but but you gotta like Cena like wins early his, as in as in the feud. Yeah, yeah. You gotta like Cena winning his sixteenth. Uh, championship not to be undone by 16th pay per view win for Charlotte. Mm -hmm. oh. So did, take did, that. Did you see that? So you see basically, the you're Cena saying Flair? so you're saying Charlotte has to end Cena's title reign. Yes, <laughs> obviously. Or Cena has to end to Charlotte's preserve pay -per -view her streak. father's <laughs> legacy. <laughs> He'll probably, she's it, really going. It, he's really he's really going for Flair. Man. That'd be a selling point. <laughs> there you be? go. But, there you go. But did any did anybody see that picture of Cena with Flair like backstage? Yep. Or, yep. Or, yeah. Where, no. where it's nice that Cena gets the same picture with Flair that any of us would. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, show, you know, it's doing the uh, you know. It's, it's did have the Mark picture. Yeah. <laughs> the Mark. <laughs> like, like it doesn't matter who it is. He just takes the same two pictures with. Look at this fan. I I'm ready to wear the Cena shirt. <laughs> Probably yeah, at, least Cena, at least Cena wasn't doing this, you know. The yeah, right. Cena <laughs> <laughs> was doing the four horses. Yeah. Right. Like, wait, who are the other three? Are they John Cena, John Cena, and John Cena? <laughs> <laughs> wow. One was uh, the Doctor of Thugonomics. Yeah, right. <laughs> the other was. The... Yeah, the Doctor of Thugonomics <laughs> prototype, and, yeah, and whoever the white bread. Next, you know, next like, is yeah, John Cena. Ne the next the is John Cena. Dress in, dress in whatever town home colors. Broken John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> no, the other one's Bill Buchanan. Yeah, right. <laughs> Booyah. He does kind of look like a ghetto Arn. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> On yes. that note. Yes. Takeover <laughs> happened. Go and uh, 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 going back to seizure carts. Um, so uh, this was, and and I don't mean to demean Takeover. I love it. I love the state of the NXT. Uh, you know, obviously it's not, you know, the heyday. It's weird. I feel like a hipster saying, oh, back in my yeah. day of NXT. 2014. 2014. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was. It was this. This takeover felt like like this. Tu this Tuesday in Texas or something, which I guess is kind of oh, wow. Whoa, yeah. whoa! A bunch of matches that weren't really pay per view 
caliber matches. Right. No, no. Except for just the one, you know. Well, you don't the, think the mm, women's championship match was pay per view caliber? <laughs> no, I actually. Uh, all right, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I love that match. Yeah. Oh no, that it was. I, I, thought, I thought, thought that match. Yeah. I thought that match was the most creatively booked thing on the show. Mm-hmm. I, I I loved watching, like. Nikki Cross and and Oscar kind of almost canceling each other out, but the one thing, and I know Matt agrees with me on this, Peyton Royce and Billy Kay needed to watch some New Age Outlaws matches. Yes, they needed to try the Outlaw Rule once <laughs> by pinning each other. <laughs> I'm so sad because Matt definitely is not wearing headphones right now for for this. It's so. okay. We, he and I have talked about it. I yeah. know he concurs. Are you the uh, the the New Age Outlaw matches or matches for the women's? In NXT. Sorg, have you ever watched? Oh wait, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorg, have you ever watched a wrestling match where the logic is so infuriating that you're screaming at the television set at the two wrestlers, just pin one another? Right. So Mindy shows. No. <laughs> well, I guess they don't take the the wrong message away from the New Age Outlaws matches, and one of them starts coming out in like sweatpants and white guy cornrows first. <laughs> um, not the, yeah, I not, believe, not those matches. I believe if they did that, they'd be Daria Baronado's gimmick. Oh, oh, wow! Deep right. cuts, wow! Deep um, cuts NXT. Yeah, 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 big time. But anyways, uh, no, I, I think uh, no, the show was good, and also proving that. If you you can't have a good match, a show stealing match with uh, Johnny Gargano and, and Tommaso Ciampa, you're probably the problem. Yeah. Because yep. authors of pain, man, like that was that was that they they showed up for that, and and I thought that was really good. And again, you know, probably a lot of the other two guys too, um, but they really made those guys. I, I think it's I, I think it's kind of cool to have kind of a monster tag team that won't mean anything when they're on Raw like the Ascension. Sorry, Matt. Uh, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, who popped up today? There were a lot of ascension sh- signs in the audience at Royal Rumble. Like, like they're, they're over. Yeah, there was a really? big time ascension fan on the on the uh, on the opposite the hard cam at the Rumble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A lot, it was nice to see a lot of interesting signs in general at the Royal Rumble. Actually, well, I mean, sort. Are, are, are we sure sword. that it wasn't Wrong really time. just the ascension? The <laughs> hey, we're here. <laughs> they, Literally right they here. weren't on the show. That's true. <laughs> they, that is true. They do look a little different without the makeup on. Yeah. <laughs> Why does he look like a fan? Why is he wearing a John Cena t-shirt? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, well, that'll get you on the show more than more than looking like the Ascension, I guess. That's true, <laughs> and, a, and a picture with Ric Flair. Yeah. <laughs> um, from that, I, uh, and, then, and, and of course Nakamura, Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode. What? Somebody posted somewhere. It was I think it was what they learned, maybe on the group or something. Or, or Twitter said, "Man, NXT got an eye for talent." Or I'm sorry, no, man, TNA has an eye for talent. That Bobby <laughs> Roode, <laughs> so he's really a big star. Uh, I'm sorry, I stepped on that one, uh, but uh, no, no, I, I, I think this is a, a pretty good moment for that. I think uh, I don't, I, th- I'm, I presume Nakamura is going to disappear for a little bit, right? Let's hope. Uh, probably. Let's hope. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Let's. No, are you? Th- I'm still not in. I'm still not in. You're on also him. an anti Nakamura. So. I'm, I'm just, I don't get the hype. I just don't. I mean, he's, he's okay. He, the matches are good, but I don't get like that. He's like this deity. I I, I don't. Have see you ever watched his matches drunk? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that would require being drunk at require- nine o'clock on a Wednesday. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> That's like I don't know. Hold on. That's life, My question that's stands. Li- life choices. That's life. That's life choices. <laughs> life choices. I, I, mean, not, I mean, actually, I'm otherwise occupied. People who follow me on Facebook know I have a second job that uh, occupies me at nine. Then, but I still don't see it with him. I don't. Mayhem, mayhem, mayhemers. You can speculate on what that second job right. is in the chat room. I'm curious your thoughts. Yes. What does Bert do at We're, nine o'clock on a Wednesday night? <laughs> For money. <laughs> For money. That is probably legal. That that re- restricts me from watching Nakamura, sober or otherwise. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I, well, I, think that, that's a, I think that's a good point there, ind- Mike. Independent of the whole, like, I can watch it any time. Because the if, you're, if you're drinking enough, you start moving like Nakamura a little bit, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> you know? exactly. Hey, so if, if you can be faster. really wasted and I almost have to hang on to the bar, I end up doing the Nakamura. <laughs> 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 I go all the way with it to the floor. 
<laughs> it's staying and there. It kind of looks, <laughs> you never go all the way to the floor. Trying, too, you, know? you never go all the way to the floor. You, you haven't seen some of the bars I've been through. How, many, how many people that WrestleMania weekend are doing the Nakamura at the bar, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and they have to be good. I saw, J- I saw Jake the Snake do the Nakamura at the bar during a WrestleMania weekend. <laughs> it it in Detroit. It's before, it Nak- it was before it's Nakamura was wrestling. Yeah, yeah, right. He didn't even know he was doing it. <laughs> this, was in, this was in like 92. You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. uh, Jake Roberts is always a man out of time. 2007, he got kicked out of Hooters. Jake's- yeah, I was there. I was there. <laughs> Jake, there's your Jake, gold. Night before, Jake. Jake uh, geez, I can't it. <laughs> Jake's like watching this thing, saying, "Man, that kid got it from me." Uh, <laughs> what? Wait, what if junk? What if drunk Jake Roberts like quantum leaped into Nakamura, and that's how he decided to do it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll bet you somebody will find I'd some be, tape of like Nova doing it. Missy, like, you get us back on track. I'd be in on no, 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 no. I want to recognize. If I, if I knew that was the inspiration for Doc, I'd be all in on the guy. <laughs> I, I just want to recognize. Uh, I think we just aged, aged our, our panel here by by the quantum leap reference. Yes. And how many people have we lost? Oh boy. Now? <laughs> hey, um, to be fair, I've never actually seen an episode of Quantum Leap. So oh, get on that Netflix. Get on that Netflix. <laughs> it, it definitely peaks when he becomes Kids a woman. These days. Yes. So. <laughs> Anyways, oh. I always found it odd that his clothes always fit too. No I know, what, right? With body jump, or he always knew like just weird things, like where his car was parked. Rob, or, you know, Rob, like, oh, listen, yeah. Rob. I'm no quantum <laughs> physicist, but yeah. it just kind of makes sense, right? Hey, Sorg. Yeah. Hey, Sorg. Yes. You know, you know what I really love about Tuesdays? Pizza. 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 You completely Pizza. read my mind. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or I read the document and what's next? Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you to our friends who feed this insanity, literally. Uh, Slice on Uh-oh. Broadway. Uh, our friends at SliceOnBroadway.com supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni Uh-oh. pizza. Getting people in studio. We have so many people in studio. Look at them over there. They're over Ooh. there. They're hanging from the rafters. You did. They could be. You, they could, get, be no, really you don't have a car camera on the rafters. I, it, we almost... Yeah, pretty, yeah, pretty low ceiling. We did. We did. Though. You gotta watch your head out here. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, they're literally hanging from stuff. the rafters, Jess. <laughs> yes, exactly. This is a capacity crowd. Look at that couch. It's it full. is. It is a happening. It is a happening. It is. You are looking live at Mayhem Studio. Ooh, Studios. I like it. Hey, the yeah. Tribute. Yes, He's yes. Done now, right? Slice yeah. on Broadway. Good friends supporting Good Mayhem. Check them out, sliceonbroadway.com. If you're down here in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh, right along the tracks on Broadway Avenue, Main Street on Carnegie, PA, or over there at PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates, get your pizza. Love it. Tell them the Mayhem sent you. PGH underscore Slice on the Twitter. Tell them, hey, what's up? Hashtag Mayhem Bump. And uh, let's know. Thank you so much for supporting the show and you guys for supporting the show. So I think at this note, what what what's, what's going on? Are you okay over there? The chat. What's what's <coughs> happening in the chat out there? What, what what's going on? Is there mayhem happening out there? Oh, there's definitely mayhem, uh, especially with Billy Johnson commenting something about Ed Hogan choking his monkey. Look over your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Although, oh, okay, there it is. Oh, guys, guys, monkey. Um, we forgot the fourth person in John Cena's Four Horsemen. Oh no, it would be Spanky. No, it will be Juan Cena. Oh, Juan oh, Cena. Yeah. Yes. Bringing that up in the chat room. Yes. Yeah, yeah that's a good Cena. point. That's a good point. Um, anyways, uh, so a uh, real quick story before we get to the big question of the Mayhem Media. There is a story going around that there's a possibility that the Universal Championship could get redesigned soon. Oh. Uh. Uh, and there's if a by redesign you mean they are going to change the name, then I think that's great. <laughs> so <laughs> other than that, <laughs> meh. Yeah. if by redesign you mean they're just going to make it look like the other one, that's great. As long as long as it, as long as it stays local in terms of uh, uh, Drew Lazario making it, I'm happy. Uh well, it has not been. It's been the, well. The current ones in Orange County Choppers, but it was made in conjunction with Drew Lazario. Oh, really? Yeah. So he did the design, and they did the they the did fab the actual, on it. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. cool. He's, he's uh, involved in like half of the belts now. Local boy made good. Let's see. Awesome detail by Jason Paul OCC. That's Wildcat Belts. And we, we've had him on the show oh, yeah. ages ago. Uh, talking about that. He's the reason I'm, he's the reason I'm here. 
He's the reason you're here. He's the reason I'm here tonight. Like, wait, here? Like, did he drive oh, here you here? In, yeah, here in general because he's the one who got me in the business, 2001. Oh, mm-hmm. there you go. Huh. Full circle. Full circle. You're like one degree from the WWE Championship. That's right. Yeah. Aren't we all? Though? He's practically WWE champion. <laughs> you're practically. <laughs> Could very well be. I want that old school Burt yeah. Grant uh, nameplate. That's it on the side of there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to think that everybody has their own plates made. You know, but there's some guys like like Fandang, Fandangos just waiting, yeah. just waiting. It's like these are gonna go on something. Yeah. You know, you yeah. know, Xavier he's Woods, his car mirror right now. You know, Xavier Woods has <laughs> up, up down down, down plates. Yeah, yeah. Xavier has up up down down plates. I guarantee it. Wow. He's just like pretty soon. I'm gonna I'm gonna enter the Konami code at the right time. <laughs> <laughs> That would be great. That would be great for around money in the bank, right? Yep. For him, would, Xavier Woods winning money in the bank would be amazing. That would be absolutely like because because you've never had a faction holding the briefcase. Ooh, no, we've never. still never done that. No, so trying no. to remember if, who would cash that there in. Been anybody in a tag team that's ever had it? Even uh, I don't recall. Not that I, I, can, don't, not that I can think of. I don't no, think no. the tag teams ever shared it. Yeah. They might have been no. in a tag team. It's just. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It'd be like well, a weird I mean, one, like Seamus yeah, and Cesaro. Like, very few you know of I mean? even competed for. Like, the, remember the one year, was it the one year that New Day, two of the New Days were in a tag team title match, and the third one was in the Money in the Bank? Maybe Kofi was in the Money yeah, in the Bank. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. One, of those first, like that. one of those One of those first years before New Day were really kind of rolling with things, yeah. right? So. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Vintage New Day. Matt is in the has, chat has room. There, has there ever been a tag team? ladder match where i know this happened it, or it looked like it was going to happen once when he had the hardys and you know dudley's and all that where two guys from different teams have ever come off with a belt i uh, thought so not, no that's I we were talking that. about that during smackdown tonight yeah saying the oh. last two people in the ring from that little battle royal should be the champions that little yeah. that little non-match battle royal that happened <laughs> Um, uh, uh, Matt. by the way, um, when did Fandango and Tyler Breeze turn into full on Reno 911 cosplay? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was probably an episode of Main Event or Superstar, yes. oh, very much but, so. Yeah, I, I, I know they've been the fashion police, but I thought they still had tights that just said fashion. No, police. I, I, now I, they're dev- now, yeah, now like, they used to I just, just want to call like them Fandango. Strippers. Now they look like, yeah, I want to call them Fandangle. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> What's the, they almost should come out like that. Um, yeah, I, I was just sad because their their video came up and it showed the camera, the the, the iPhone camera, and it, uh, it and and it was just like xed out before it went into their fashion police thing. Uh, Carlos is in the chat room. Uh, he says I like the Universal title because uh, cool. it opens the doors for future Alien challengers. I like it. Yes. Uh, no, actually, with the ban, we're not going to have any alien challenges. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, that's why Emma. That's why but, Emma didn't have a promo this week. Does that mean that? <laughs> well, I, I'm convinced that you know, like on SmackDown, especially where you have these giant announced teams, is that so that when all the foreigners get kicked out, they have enough people to <laughs> to make up all the different, you know, like David Otago's learning German why on the side. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you know. Why do you think American <laughs> Alpha is the champion? Oh. oh man, we are not gonna be able to get away from this. Um, okay, hey, Sorg, he's a WWE Hall of Famer. It's all yeah. relevant. You know, I haven't seen the conquistadors lately. You actually have a point. <laughs> or <laughs> just saying. Or the shiny... like they were just about to make their comeback, right? Yeah. But then all this came up, right? It's right. Like, oh, just bad timing. Oh. Oh, or, yeah. or the shining. <laughs> Damn our luck. Or the shining stars, even though they're Puerto Rican, yeah, they which were, is completely a country. They're, they're part were, of our country. I know they're part oh, of. Oh no! The, now uh, they're being completely ignored. They're part of the Del Rio <laughs> Page uh, party after uh, Rumble. I saw oh. the pics of them. Oh yeah, there. really? Them, Titus, uh, like anybody who wasn't on the Rumble. Anybody uh, who pissed off Vince McMahon. Right. Anybody who was on the Rumble card was it's that. Like, it's like the one. anti-Vince pity party. Yeah, right it's, right. it's weird. If ever there was a time we needed WWE New York again. You know, <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, that Hang place up. was amazing. Yeah. All right? That place was fantastic. That's, That's where I got my first WWE title. <laughs> I love that place. Wait, was that for like eating a was big burger hard, or something yeah. like that? that the, the, hard, the hardcore belt was under the <laughs> no, no, I, or... no, I legit saved up for one of my birthdays and I bought myself a WWE championship from WWE New York. 
This was back in like 2001. Although I love the idea that you like like finish some kind of burger and like, <laughs> yeah. they give you a championship <laughs> belt. You know, like like when like that, I, I really kind of wish they give you one at Quick like, Stick when you finish like the atomic finish it, yeah, Like when you finish it, your whole family eats for free, like that kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was picturing they them picking the up the later hardcore title off of passed out Crash Holly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, R.I.P. Crash. Um, but uh, anyways, wow. Hey guys, if you want to support some uh, wrestlers that will probably be on 205 Live someday, please go over to IndieWrestling.us. Or um, SmackDown, Sorg. Or SmackDown, yeah. Or or be the WWE a couple. Delilah Dawson, right? What? Delilah yes, Dawson. Right. No, no, no. We don't have any of that stuff, actually. We don't have any of her. Uh, oh, okay. that, that, that was Inspire Pro. We don't have any Texas stuff. Oh, okay. But Pittsburgh Wrestling, like Brick Baker, like who is been on on raw as well yep. ray lynn who ray was lynn. on uh uh smackdown last week yep. uh um um i can't the remember Drifter. anybody else um oh, oh Corey graves has yep. sterling james keenan in the area of course uh so much more check out indie wrestling.us the, the the titles are returning iwc is being restored slowly but surely rwa is going to be next after that already we have restored premier championship wrestling including one of the final matches on the indies with uh johnny gargano I uh, 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 who else is in there? Um, we also have uh, old Prime Wrestling with some best ofs oh, with Johnny Gargano, with Matt Cross, also a son of Havoc, with uh, 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 Jimmy Jacobs, who's now um, taking pictures, hugging uh, 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 one Tyler Black, uh, Seth Rollins, and WWE. They're <laughs> buddies. They've always been buddies. Yes. Happy ten year anniversary, Wrestling Society X. I want to go it, watch. It, we should go oh, back God. back and watch the entire season because it'll take us an evening. And Jacobs is the reason for the list too. So there's that. That's right. That's right. He there, there'd be no list without Jimmy. Jacobs. He's a weird little guy, but he's so creative. <laughs> yes. I could... Now, now was Wrestling Society X was was that ten years ago or was it one of those things they taped like a year and a half ahead of time and then finally aired it? <laughs> no, uh, the first the first, ep- the first episode aired January thirtieth, two thousand seven. Ah, uh, okay. So. I'm actually looking up the roster now, just so, just so we can see. Who it's an amazing that's roster. A, that's a great so I remember roster. Seidel, and then he had like yep. Teddy Hart, and what's his name? Oh God, um, Cabana was Empiro. on there too. Right? Empiro had, was the first champion. Cabana had a massive. Game. Yeah, I feel like our big question should be: Who is your favorite person off of Wrestling Society X? Yes. <laughs> Holy crap! There's a lot of really good. There's people. a lot of really yeah. good stuff there. It is. It, it, uh, Jack it, Evans was one, and we did, we, we we discovered it. It was kind of the precursor of Lucha Underground, right? Like like in conceptual. A little bit, you know? yeah. Yeah, a show so, about a show. Yeah, it, we, <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, it was, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, so there you go. Uh, so respect the Wrestle Society X. Forget about XPW. Um, <laughs> let's be honest. How can you though? I mean, you, you want to, but it's okay. like a scar on your brain, just like that WXW I was watching. The only redeeming value uh-huh. of that was Alexis Lurie. Right. Now Mickey James. Mm-hmm. Everything else just throw away and burn. Just, <laughs> just burn it. Um, so hey, that was a nice that was nice eight hours of DVDs. I got from Walmart for like ten bucks one time. So, uh, there's Wait, that, that. was that the Australian one or no? Was that some? Was that a different what? one? The Australian? No, was, no, no. It's women's. Was, women's Australian oh, okay. Was that Hogan's? It well, was women's right. extreme wrestling okay. before it became women's uh, erotic wrestling, oh. and pretty much just turned into one of those Porn. naughty pay per view things. Yeah, <laughs> I think World Wrestling All Stars was the uh, Australian one. I think. <laughs> Zoom tight. Yeah, the uh, the bah. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, from the chat, real quick. Bill Mertes was on WSX, yes, and he was also on TNA. It's really interesting to look up his uh, his Wikipedia. And, and there's also someone called Puma on WSX, but it's not Prince Puma. It's actually TJ Perkins. Was it Age of the Fall? Where, where so were they Age of the Fall for uh, Black and Jacobs on Jacobs. WSX? So they're they're called Do It for Her. That's what <laughs> they were like emo and stuff, right? Like they were just like I, a super emo team, I think so. Yeah, which is, and I know they probably did this because they're nerds. That's a quote from The Simpsons. That's a Simpsons reference. That tag team name. That's amazing. That's amazing. And, and weren't there like bands that would pop up on yeah. Wrestling Society with it being yep. MTV? Like I remember like Zach Wild doing color commentary on a match or something a couple times. Absolutely. That might have been like with Black Label Society or something. All right, guys, let's get to the break. Uh, Check out some cool stuff coming up. And, of course, we'll be right back with the big question. Hey, guys, Ring of Honor star Shane Taylor. Check out my interview on Indie Mayhem Show. Check out Ring of Honor when we come uh, back to Pittsburgh February 
11th at Stage AE, and come watch me, Shane Taylor, do what I do better than anybody else, and that's punch people in the face. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Wrestling Mayhem Show. Sorgatron here in the studio. The whole crew. Larry on the couch. He's waving to the audio listeners. Hello. Bert LeGrant, ex- announcer extraordinaire from the Renegade Wrestling Alliance. Uh, Mad Mike up in Poughkeepsie, New York. And uh, Rob, the video guy. See him and his appearance on Outsiders. On What network is that on? I, WGN. it's on WGN. Oh, okay. I, I, I think I worked on it maybe twice this season. There but, you go. Uh, Look for him. Look for him. He's that guy. He's, he's I'm a cameraman he's, in one episode. He's television's Rob Brown. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> TV's basic, Rob Brown. basic cable yeah, television. So. Basic TV's hey, Rob hey, Brown. That's better than Impact. Hey. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. I'm on a better network than, than Impact. Yeah. And uh, of course, Matt Carlin's and Missy <laughs> over in the booth. There you go. Hold on. Let me get that title off of there so it's not quite as awkward. There you go. The new big board. Did you see what I did with last week's big board up there up by the door? It's uh, oh, got its place. For posterity. Up there for posterity. <laughs> the the pizza box lid big board. Are we going to do a hey, Talking Mayhem after this? Not just any yeah, pizza we have box. box. What's that? Not just any pizza box. Slice on Broadway. Ooh. Not only are they good pizza, they're wonderful big boards yes. for Mayhem is, Mania. Is Talking Mayhem only available on the Mayhem Network? Yes. <laughs> yes, after, yes after the show? Yes. Okay. For nine ninety nine. For nine, yeah, just... 99.9 cents. For after free, 205 free, Live. Free. For three thirty three, yeah, three <laughs> free, free, free. Uh, for pie, um, too fitting. <laughs> pie, ladies and gentlemen. Time for the big question, and the big question I think is very appropriate considering the random rat hole that we got into before the break. Oh no! <laughs> if you were to start today an MTV based weekly episodic wrestling show, and by episodic I mean something like uh, Wrestling Society X, like Lucha Underground, that's in seasons. Right, as an off season, we we're like maybe I'm going to give you we're going to give you a six six episode uh, 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 pilot run. Right, that's how TV works. Right, Matt. Right, Rob. <laughs> yes. Uh, we're thinking. <laughs> yes, my my two people that work in TV here. Um, um, they, they don't do that on the radio, right? No, no. 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 Uh, so so uh, no one works in radio. But... What was the question? <laughs> No one works if, right if you were to start today an MTV based yes. episodic wrestling show, who pick one person who is definitely on that show and in the style of Wrestle Society X, what weird MTV style gimmick would you give that wrestler? You can pluck them from anywhere you want because MTV <laughs> definitely has okay. money. Okay. All, All right. right. Mike, I, Mike, I got, Mike's got this. I, Mike was really quick this, with this. Sorg. I got. Um. My guy is the Miz. <laughs> Returning <laughs> home to home. MTV the and he hero. will completely devolve into Mike Mizanin from the real oh. world. Oh, it's like you but, cheater. I like but, it. But he's still with Maurice and Maurice has no idea why she's with him. <laughs> oh, I like that. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. I like that. that All good right. Twist on Anybody it. Else this is one? the true story. <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. Right. Right. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else? Oh. I don't. I mean, I don't know who I would have, but I think keeping with MTV, um, it would be a wrestling show, right? I, I think whatever the gimmick we, is, it would we, have to have think. absolutely nothing to do with wrestling. <laughs> okay. Or it would take five episodes of that six episode run to even mention wrestling. Wait, for the wrestler or the show in general? No, I'm just saying in keeping in keeping with the theme of MTV, right, who right. you know they forget what they're they're even there for. Short attention spans. And okay, whatnot. okay. Yeah, or that, you know what music television? What? Yeah, you could do you could but do like a know. real world of wrestling and have five episodes where it's just all the wrestlers living in one house, yeah. and on the sixth day they all have to wrestle. Yeah, and, they're, and they bitch about it the whole time. You know? <laughs> like they've got to wrestle once, and they're all in the same match. You know, you know, you know I, I it's know. like the last ten minutes of the last episode of you know, and they got to do their fucking job. I know you really didn't. I know yeah. you really didn't give a wrestler, but yeah. I'm going to 
allow that to be your answer because you really fleshed out the concept here. Yeah. yeah, I know the concept. I just don't know. You know, it's the whole, you know, like like in late 80s, early 90s, WWF, I've got a character I kind of want, but, you know, it's well, just wait, a matter wait. of what, what's the finding character? somebody to... What's the well, character? I don't, Maybe we no. can help you hone in on it. Yeah. Oh, let's, let's, let's workshop this. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Why don't we just put Glenn Jacobs in there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or how, about, how about how about Damien Sandow? Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. Damien Sandow can apparently do anything since he is Liberace in TNA now. Uh-huh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Not so much. Yeah. Or who or who changes gimmicks every like twelve minutes? There's is there anybody? That's Barry Darso, the shining star. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Done. It's got to be Epico, not not the other one. <laughs> yeah. Not the other, yeah, the other yeah, one. Not, <laughs> not the other Uno. Not Amon. Good good yeah. good point here. Tina, Tina's saying that Enzo is a flipping MTV gimmick. Right, as it right. Is. Yeah. So there That's you go. Well, he's like Jersey. Yeah, it's like Jersey Shore. Right. Enzo there, is much. literally a VJ lost from time. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's, he's like that homeless guy that won the contest. Yeah, right. Jesse Camp. Camp. Oh my god, he's Jesse Camp. Yeah. Yes. He's wrestling Jesse Camp. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, well, I, I don't know about a wrestler, but I, I think it's definitely the thing has to be run by Billy Corgan. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I think a wrestler that would be Taylor Mays for MTV, given his current gimmick now, it has to be Kenny Omega. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, just like just the the look and the whole like you know yes. anachronistic out of time kind of vibe, uh-huh. or Jericho, because he can play to so many different. I mean, in terms of like if you have to start if you have to start one if you your foundation guy, yeah, can be a guy who can help you in front of the camera. It's Mr. Rock the and Roll, Mr. Mr. Rock he, and Roll. He, he rock should roll. think he should think. But, but, but MTV is the kind of like ball. Logan's Run, though, isn't it? Like. <laughs> After it seems like after a certain age, they you know you no longer exist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. All right. <clears throat> At least not on that network. I mean, Chris yeah. Hardwick's still doing his thing. Yeah, that's true. Maybe on like MTV Eight or something, they'd let Jericho yeah. on. But the Ocho. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, Matt, it's barely music. It's on. The- do, do you have one for this? We're still complaining about MTV not playing music anymore. That's yeah. like twenty years late. <laughs> right. Um, MTV played music. Would, yeah, somebody MTV. stole uh, somebody <laughs> stole Chris Jericho from me, so I will go with uh, the most char- charismatic uh, wrestler on on the independent scene, RJ City. Ooh. And because it's MTV, uh, I will have him play a sixteen year old <laughs> pregnant girl. <laughs> That's great. And I think he can That's do great. it. So. I think he could. Yeah. I think he could. He's got range. He's, yeah. he's, he's got, got range. range. Missy, right. Missy, do you have one you'd like to throw on MTV? I, I... come on. You gotta have somebody. I didn't watch MTV, so I have no, no idea. No, no, but 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 you've uh, got the idea, and you're oh. like, who would you put on MTV from 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 wrestling? <laughs> who do you think is tailor made, or you could see an interesting MTV style gimmick over there? Come back, come back to the. Okay, all right. I, I, Although I, I do Larry, have, I do have to come up with an authority figure. I can give another one. while Missy thinks. Oh, well, well, Larry's got to get one. <laughs> I was just okay. doing my research of MTV shows and. <laughs> Oh God. Via Wikipedia, and, if, if you knock out if, and, if you knock out the word pregnant, you can probably you know make yeah, the yeah, a lot easier. Easier. I'm, I'm uh, kind of, I'm and kind also, of. I want to say you're probably the one that didn't get the qualm. Uh, no, I get to it. it, right? Oh, you, okay. Yeah. Um, Scott Bakula and um, Terry Funk was on. I, I would like to say I'm kind of stealing this from SmackDown already. Uh-oh. Okay, it's uh, MTV made. I want to be a WWE superstar with James oh. Ellsworth. With James Ellsworth. Oh, oh I love it. Like That'd it. be great. Like it. It's, it's kind of already happening in the storyline now. With <laughs> Carmella doing he's... the makeover and everything. <laughs> but but you turn it into MTV style, so he's really whiny and probably ends up pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Carmella's the father. And then with his own show that Rooster spins out of that. He'd be the... Yeah, he'd be, but James Ellsworth would be the worst pregnant mother. Uh, <laughs> Thorg, <laughs> you know who would be the best... <laughs> The best head of a best wrestling federation. Mother? No, the best the best head of a wrestling federation on MTV. Who? Jimmy DeMarco. Jimmy DeMarco. Oh jeez. Oh, yes. God. Yes. Yeah. That's very localized, but yes, yes. yes. Um although he could do it to catch a predator if we're going to that. Oh. <laughs> oh god. Backstory, <laughs> there's a thing that happened on PWO TV. Whoa. You can probably look it up. He was uh no. he was stalking Gregory Irons uh, uh younger brother. Right. And it got really weird. That's right. And he got kicked off a of television for that. That's right. That's right. <laughs> this is the thing that happened. I, I didn't yeah. know that. 
You didn't know about this? Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, say, know, I knew it, about this. It, wow. aired, it aired on Sports Time Ohio. So <laughs> no, how, it, how it got I mean, that far that's, before. That's, that's practically like the ESPN <laughs> of Northeastern Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> so, there, fake news. so so there you go fake news. <laughs> missy do you have an answer you give me a I, look I've, I've got a I've, you, are you okay the worst answer um can you big, follow up jimmy demarco big big brother is that a thing yes but not on mtv but okay okay uh, similar concept though. i'm sure they have shows yeah. like that yeah yeah real world yeah what'd you say Kane. big brother Kane? As on show as Big Brother. Like one of those crazy live in a house and do yeah. college collegiate party crap. But he's a wrestler that 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 C- corporate Kane or Yes, corporate yeah. Kane. Libertarian. No, 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 Yes, actually. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm in. I'm all in. <laughs> all right. There you go. Let us know your wrestling society. No, uh, your MTV wrestling wow. um, move. Uh, Space Monkey as an MTV Moon Man from yeah. Bobby FJ Town. Uh, yes. Alexa Bliss is the 9100s Christina Aguilera. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say 92,000. Sorry. I, emo I'm, Sammy Callahan. Well, emo Sammy Callahan. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, that's amazing. This is the best thought experiment we've had since the Mayhem Mania. I think Ooh. so. Whoa. I know, Whoa. I know. That expression over there. Well, speaking of, it is time for Mayhem Mania. Do we have enough people online? I don't, I don't know if we checked. Uh, I got a solid four, and then we'll just decide which of, uh, who else we need to uh, drag into this. Okay. Um, <laughs> um so we'll, we'll, we'll get somebody in here in the, uh, from the chat. If uh, who who was on last week? Uh, drag wheels. See if we can get wheels in here. Wheels. Okay, I know he's under the wire. So let, let me drag work on that. Really. My, Matt, please introduce for those who don't know what's going on, what we're doing now. All right. So uh, this is Mayhem Mania. Uh, it's kind of a competitive thought experiment where we are trying to book the best WrestleMania card we can within the bounds of the current reality. Uh, so this isn't like fantasy booking, even though it kind of is. But the catch is that you have to operate basically under the same rules as Vince McMahon. So everyone is in their current physical, mental, contractual um, state. Um, I think I summed it up well a couple weeks ago. Basically, you're Vince McMahon with unlimited cash and no self-control. So you're making the blowout WrestleMania card and you're not holding anything for next year, basically. Um, so everyone comes in, and um, we have a card of eight matches right now. Okay. A hard eight. Here, show that on the camera. There, there eight you go. matches. Uh, no, not readable, but it's there. There's a piece um, of paper. So we got eight matches. Oh, that's right. And um, yeah, everyone will get to do make one change to this current card. And uh, basically, you'll be able to like, swap give, a wrestler for a wrestler. Don't give WrestleMania bunny ears. Kill up. <laughs> match and replace it with something else or um actually just add an individual wrestler or a tag team to make it a multi-way uh organizational uh thing or like that so are we, are we doing stipulations yet no stipulations yet stipula- okay and can you stipulations are for the patreon in the bank round that comes later yeah. you gotta pony up and pay for that oh uh, there's a there's a question from rob go ahead rob. oh like like i see okay one of the matches that was there it's like uh you know tag team triple threat can you keep adding to <laughs> that you know like oh there might be nine teams in there by the end of it yeah yeah basically oh, okay. I mean, yeah and yeah. if you're gonna if you're gonna you, usually a, by the time match, it gets past like four or five someone will just nix the whole thing oh i see so you run you the gotta understand of, though if no, it gets too bogged down you're gonna yeah. get someone's gonna come along and be like i've had it i'm, I'm getting rid of this match and i'm starting yeah. over with something else it might also be plus, our graphics plus we don't want wrestlemania to run long or anything yeah. no, <laughs> no we wouldn't want that <laughs> and the only real restriction we just ask for like uh a little bit of um, uh, uh, common human decency when you're creating your match. Don't create like an 80 man <laughs> battle royal. You know, let's keep it to like, you know, something reasonable. 80 man C4 match. Exactly. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I guess those are the ground rules. Um, so we've got our eight matches. We got we're gonna line up five people to make changes. 
Sorg, did you find someone in the uh, nether regions, or should we just uh, pluck someone uh, from nowhere? I don't Bobby know. Says well, Bobby says he's been on twice in a row. Yeah, well, so is, is okay? Mad Mike, so if no one all else right, comes right. on, I'm just going to let uh, Mad uh, Mike go, and he's going to go yeah, into the cooler say, for the next I was going to skip out next week. Mike, couple weeks. Mike, can you bring him in, please? Sure. All right, we'll have him here in a little bit. Do you want to run down the matches that we have currently? I have the graphics up. Yep. And uh, I'll uh, first I'll let everybody know what order we're going to go in, provided we get Bobby in here. Well. Wait, um, wait, what, wait a what, moment. What? Speaking of our graphics, who do we have to thank for those, Sorg? Our good friend Antonio Garza of TheWrestlingRevolution.com. we got to get Garza on this show again. There you go. There's that stuff, too. He's due. He's due, man. you got to get Long in, Long overdue. Um, so um, the order will be, uh, we'll go Missy, you'll go first. Uh, then we'll do Bobby. Then we'll have Larry. And then we'll have Rob Brown. And then we'll have Bert batting cleanup. So all of you guys will get to make one change to the card. All right. You'll figure it out by the time you come up on it. So are you ready to run down the uh, eight matches here? Row, but I can't. Show the graphics. Oh, here we go. All right. We got Jack Gallagher versus Simon Gotch. Uh, cre created by Missy. Created by for the show. Missy, yep. Yeah. We've got Brock Lesnar versus Kevin Owens. Created by the IWC Rookie of the Year, Jackson. <laughs> Our boy. Uh, we have uh, American Alpha versus the Kings of Wrestling versus Tyler Bate and Trent Seven. We've got... Created by the Riz. Created by the Riz. We've got Ryback versus Kurt Angle, created by Dan Hooven, of course. What? Uh, and, presented by and presented by Hooven Ground. <laughs> Hooven Ground 6 coming soon. Um, we have AJ Styles versus Finn Balor. We have uh, Burt's favorite, Shinsuke Nakamura versus Hideo Itami. We have Bray Wyatt versus Gold Dust. Serious Gold Dust. And yes, yeah, Serious uh, Gold Dust. In a suit. And nope. This might be my favorite one. We have John Cena and Nikki Bella versus the Miz and Maurice versus Rusev and Lana in a three-way mixed tag team match. The dog Handsome does not Rusev. like this Handsome. matches. <laughs> We're still working on the technology to allow Wicket to create matches for Mayhem Mania. If you have any suggestions, he's, he's, send he's, it to yeah. good times at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. <laughs> he's got opinions. I desperately want Wicket to create a match. So we're going to work on that. He's the IWC in animal form. <laughs> we'll get the, the reset button. The, uh... Yeah, the reset button. We yeah. can do a reset button. <laughs> Use our quantum leap technology. <laughs> quantum technology. Um, oh, like yeah, said, I should Terry, tell you, Terry I mean, there is incentive for you guys to create a good match. Because if it can survive three rounds without being changed by anybody, it will basically get set in stone. And then you'll get a reward. You'll get to hand out uh, some punishment to somebody else oh. that you don't like and make them suffer and force a unwanted wrestler upon them that they have to use. This just got weird. Uh, oh, it's going to yeah, get weird. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Like That's part of the fun. Before we start, who's on the show next week? Uh, Chris LaRusso is on the show next week. Okay. Ooh, you're play, I, I, you're th playing th defense. Th I like th it. This, this is... Are you trying to play into the favors of I'm, the top prospect tournament? Uh, no, I, I I just need to plan ahead to see if somebody's going to completely destroy my pick this week. Okay, okay. I think we're good. <laughs> You're just like, is anybody vindictive going to be on next week? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. <laughs> hey, we've been doing this. This is our third year, Sorg. And I've seen some people play this game at a very high level. Yeah, so true. high, in fact, that I'm not even sure... The other people around us realized that the game was being played at a high level. That they just thought they were screwing around, but they weren't. They're <laughs> they're playing the game at a high level. And uh, I gotta say, um, you know what? We'll talk about who I think uh, on this week's Talking Mayhem Mania, <laughs> which will be coming up later. I'm gonna tell you who That's I you think the is the MVP of Mayhem Mania <laughs> thus far. I'm talking about the real people, like the match creator. I'm gonna tell you who I think is playing the game at a high level this year. Um, but that that would be on talking mayhem mania, I, Missy. I've given I, you all the time in the world. Do you have a change uh, for the card? I'm I'm really working at this. So I'm, I'm gonna have to see this. It, it it needs to face me so I can see it. <laughs> it's all in front right. of her face. Just hold it in front of her face. Like, While she's checking it, I have a quick question. As somebody that wasn't listening last week, sure. Um, are are we allowed to? <laughs> to ask the, like, some of these matches, they kind of make sense, but others, again, it seems like you kind of had to be there. Um, are we, uh, like... <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, well, well <laughs> like, uh, I, mean, I understand, I understand Hoovens, for sure, but, <laughs> but I mean, but, but a couple of them, at least on paper, don't, don't make sense. Could we get context for that, or do, is it just... No, well, what, no, you don't get context. Which one doesn't make sense? 
If you don't like it, get rid of it and come up with something better. Go That's back and watch last episode. Okay. episode. But if you if you do nix an entire match, you cannot use anyone from that match. Okay, uh, I see. You but if you just, want to keep one of the guys, uh, you could just swap out the other guy, bring in yeah, somebody yeah, else. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. Yeah. All right. I think I think I'm ready. I right, give me back my board. I, All right. Scott. All right. Since Nakamura is injured, I think I'm gonna for go realsies ahead. or for stories. Stories. Yeah. I think it's for stories. No, but still, I mean, he's still. Oh boy. I think I'm gonna. Bring You're taking him. away Bert's move. <laughs> All right, go ahead. I'm still trying to I think, out, I think that we're gonna see something glorious in that match. Mm. Ooh. Mm, indeed. What? So, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm <laughs> gonna take out Nakamura. I'm gonna replace him. We with someone hear, really glorious. You can hear all the like cross-offs. <laughs> Do you have some music to queue up, sir? No, Eric I, Young? no oh. I don't. Plus, I'll get us booted off YouTube. Really? <laughs> kind of. Well, we, we could do a cappella version. Are you, are you referring to the, uh, the Australian bounty hunter, Bobby Roo? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Something of those lines. Yes. All right, great. I'll put him in for all you. Right. Great. Bobby Roo versus Hideo Itami. See? All better. See, Rob? That's how we get matches like that. See? I see. Now you see how that happens. <laughs> Bobby. Bobby, are you there? Bobby, can you hear us? Bobby. Oh. Bobby. There we go. Uh-oh. Yikes. Not that Bobby, the other. <laughs> I can hear it. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right. <laughs> now I'm going to stop it. Is Bobby. <laughs> Did Bobby try this? Bobby. Bobby, we can't hear you. Uh-oh. We can we can see Bobby, but we can't hear him? Can you, yes, can, we can see I don't Bobby, know. Maybe we, we maybe we go by what he has in the chat. Was it an 80 man elimination chamber? No, we are not <laughs> doing that. I wish <laughs> <laughs> right, Bob. If Bobby can't show up, we're gonna have to find a suitable replacement. Well, I vote we give Wicket his pick. Well, Billy Johnson's in the chat room. <laughs> No, no, Bobby. no. We're, we're not, we're not chat rooming Bobby? mayhem mania. We're not chat rooming. I mean, I need people in the flesh. Person, but uh, I hear something. Bobby. Uh, Bobby, we can't hear you. I have to cut this out oh. of the show. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was gonna say maybe even if he calls yeah. back in. Uh, uh can yeah, we? Well, there's, there's has... see if oh, there he is. There he is. Yeah, back. Bobby of JT. All right. Uh, sorry, Bobby. you ruined my thing. I was gonna say uh, since you said. No uh, Royal Rumble or Battle Royals. How about an elimination table with eight men? But you we ruined doing? it. It's okay, Bobby. Those stipulations. Okay. No, uh, we're saving stipulations so far, for uh, yeah. a later round. Bobby, what is your pick? But it's always good to suggest one. Mm -hmm. It might help uh, keep your match in the mix. Mm -hmm. Bobby, what you got? Oh, I already told you mine. I know. <laughs> Uh, what are the what what are the tag team matches so far? Uh, we only have uh, okay. We got American Alpha and the Kings of Wrestling versus uh um oh I'm sorry Mustache American Mountain. Alpha Mustache Mountain. versus the Kings of Wrestling versus Mustache Mountain and we have John and Nikki versus Miz and Maurice versus Lana and Rusev. Sorry about this, but take Mustache Mountain out of there and add the revival. All oh. right. Oh. <laughs> And now you can't use Mustache since, Mountain at all, since right? Since we get... No, yeah. Well, no, you can't, no, you, can, can't. you can bring them back you now if you want to. You can bring them oh, back okay. later. Um, gotcha. But since we didn't get the revival tonight, I, I gave them to everybody. <laughs> Thank you, you Bobby. There you go. Larry, our, uh, you're up, and uh, Rob, you're on deck. Are Bray and Randy being used yet? Bray's being used. Bray is, Randy's Bray not. Okay. Um, then I'm going to have to get rid of the Kurt Angle match altogether. Uh huh. And we're gonna put oh, Hooven, Braun Strowman, and James Ellsworth. <laughs> <laughs> you really want to see that? Oh, so bad, yeah. so bad. Wow, <laughs> just a straight match? Oh no, but I can't put stipulations. Uh, yeah, in. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would be a lumberjack match. Oh, <laughs> with actual, a, actual lumberjacks like Lash Larue, not Lash Larue. Who, who, Lumberjack Larue? Lumberjack Larue. Yeah, that, that's right. who I'm thinking. Lumber, oh, yes. He means, like, He's a nice guy. So, it'll just be roaming around outside the whole time. <laughs> nice. <laughs> just, I, I'd like a Lumberjack match with all the guys Braun Strowman has beaten. 
Yeah. Ooh. Uh-huh. Like all the jobbers he beat. Yeah, Even that guy and, big sweaty men. And, yes. all, and especially him, Bobby. So we Best throw one. in all the guys that Ryback beat. Yes. There you go. Oh, and let's throw in Jack Dumb. 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 What's his face? Oh, What's his face? Throw in, <laughs> uh, Dewey Barnes and Nor Furman. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> all right, Rob, you're up. Bert, okay. you're on deck. All right. Where am I? Wait. Bert is okay. feverishly researching right now. I am. So I'm up, right? Yeah. Okay. And you're saying, okay, like Vince, you know, you got all the money. There's no tomorrow. There's whatever. Um, I don't think Simon Gotch is making it anywhere near the show. Um, I want to re- replace him, keep Gallagher, and have him versus Pete Dunn. All right. All right. Oh, wow. all right. okay. Mustache. All right. Because I was thinking, because that Mustache Mountain got me th- got me thinking there, because he's in with those guys, right? <laughs> Best sentence ever. That's right. And someone someone has a new Tinder profile. That's it. <laughs> so, has wow. anyone heard my question? But Gallagher and Dunn would be a good kind of, you know, you got different styles, but a couple of Englishmen just beating the shit out of each other. What's, so. what's your question? Does he have a mustache? And I, and I, I think, don't think I he think does. I think Pete Dunn can grow a mustache, by, a mustache by WrestleMania. But he's, too, in so the, he's, one. Yeah. He's, he's like the drummer in ZZ Top. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one without a beard. You better know. than better than the one for Death Leopard. It doesn't have an arm. That's right. The song is taking a lot slower. <laughs> that was that, I made myself sad. Now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Bobby. oh, Bobby! Bobby, stop doing Second that. Second time this uh, week. Wah, wah, wah. That's like that's like that's like the the Royal Rumble 2004 of band references. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was not my wisest decision. So in ten, in ten years, when somebody asks which episodes they shouldn't listen to, and then, and then, and then, right. and then after after I watched that, though, I started I started two thousand five, and it starts with Chris Benoit and Eddie Guerrero. And I'm just oh, like I can't, right. I'm like, I can't, I that's can't. Right. Yes. Wow, Bobby, whatever you do, Bobby, whatever you do, <laughs> never watch Backlash two thousand four. Well, it's the funny yeah. thing is, as, as sad as that Rumble starts with Benoit and Guerrero. It gets awesome when they bring Daniel Pewter in. They beat the fucking shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and Holly, too. And Bob Holly. All yeah, three of them yeah. taking turns on him. It gets I, really I happy those, at that I point. I love those Royal Rumbles that are like a who's who of who's that. 2005. You know? <laughs> my, my favorite game was a to really play good one. in the Rumble yeah. is a live dead or TNA. <laughs> I like it. Wow. I like it. Wow. Or earlier, is, first, is, all right. is TNA you, you got this figured out? Yeah, I got it figured yeah, out. Push right. that envelope. Let's it's, just, go. it's just one that's. Now, because I'm mean, just to get a, a, a frame of mind here. It's just one I could just have a personal preference to. Just something I've always liked to see. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Maybe everyone because, else will like your it. Because, your personal reasons because are they your have own. Not, I, I've yet to see them interact on TV in the past two years when they would have been eligible. Take out Goldust, put in Bo Dallas. There you go. Oh wow! I think that I think that'd be such a unique dynamic. Oh, I mean, just wow! For a personal like match, I'd like to see in terms of how they build it up. Two incredibly disparate, you know, characters. But I just want well, to see we, how they interact. I know why you want you why you're asking uh, about the Goldust versus Cody Rhodes on May. You want IRS Rhodes to be a couple special guest referee. That's yeah. right. Yeah. It's yeah. similar. Nice. I can't argue with that. Nope. I think that was the match I was looking at going, how the hell does Wyatt and Gold Dust on here? I don't know. <laughs> uh huh. I had yeah. to make a pick. So Things like happen, said, man. I'm like, I'm I'm like, like, not I thought they would do some interesting thing. Oh, okay. All right. So we're going to see uh, where we're at right now with uh, the card. All right. I'll recap for everybody. All right. We've got Jack Gallagher versus Pete Dunn. Uh, we have Brock Lesnar versus Kevin Owens. American Alpha versus the Kings of Wrestling versus The Revival. Braun Strowman versus James Ellsworth. AJ Styles versus Finn Balor. Bobby Roode versus Hideo Itami. Bray Wyatt versus Bo Dallas. And finally, John Cena and Nikki Bella versus The Miz and Maurice versus Rusev and Lana. Awesome. Um, Handsome, yeah. Handsome Rusev. Have, have any so matches Rusev? survived? We've had yes. a couple survive. Like, so what's the what's the main event of this show? Well, I guess, I guess it needs to be one more week to survive and and stay in, right? We we determine the main event. Really close. I don't like to give it away. No, 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 no. It's more fun to surprise everybody. Okay, okay. <laughs> For those reward those who are paying attention. That's right. Yeah, that's it. That's right. Uh, so next week, there. yep, five more people and um, more changes. We'll see what Larusso does. There oh you go. God. Oh, I can't <laughs> imagine. He's and please, himself, if anybody is out there and you're playing the home version of Mayhem Mania, please let us know your picks. Yes. Uh, with your crew, with your, I don't know, Facebook Hangout or Google Hangout, it's something. 
uh, and, and let us know if you, you guys want to want to start one and 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 uh, kind of hit it up from week to week. Have your own special guests on there. Did we have somebody give us their their picks in mm-hmm. the Facebook? My at home. Someone did chime in. Uh, I think in the comments. Was it, yeah, yeah, comments yeah, people have been the, saying uh, like this match so. needs to happen. I, and Brandon was was I'll put say, some put Brandon some selections so in uh, on last week's post. I know. So and again, like stuff you want to see like that, or 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 you know, hey, I would switch this for this. You know, because you never know. Some of the mayors could be mayhemers could be watching the comments and maybe could spark we some ideas. We can be swayed. We yeah, can we can be swayed and bribed. We can be bought. <laughs> We're easily tricked. Yes. Everybody has a price. <laughs> and don't forget, speaking of price, Patreon. There's something very special if you're a Patreon supporter. That's right. Nice transition. Coming yep. up uh, very close to the end of Mayhem Mania will be the exciting and captivating Patreon in a bank round. Only <laughs> Mayhem Show Patreon supporters will get to play. That's when they'll get to do things that you wouldn't can cannot even believe that they're able to do. Godlike powers are bestowed upon the Patreon. <laughs> Godlike and they just start powers. running wild on this card. So as, yeah, as someone got a pony up. Patreon in the bank round two years in a row. You really do get to make a lot of fucking changes. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. Okay. You get to run wild over it. It's it's like that Survivor series. Where the winning team got to run raw for a week. That's right. <laughs> yeah. It's 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 basically speaking of ben, that. Speaking of ben was Roth. that the same Survivor Series where everything changed forever for a month? No. 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 Okay. That was two thousand two thousand four. Maven, uh, okay. Maven was GM of Raw for a week. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. And was then, that the Survivor Series that he was on? Was it? Yes. Was it? It was him. <laughs> him, was it? him. Benoit and Orton. Orton and a fourth. Then, then it led to his lucrative oh, career a on fourth? QVC. Yeah, it was four people. Um, yeah, it was a. There was a. Was it Dolph? Life. Jericho? No. Hold on. Who would have been faced in two, late 2004? Late 2004. Was it. Um, Elton Benjamin? Maybe. Yeah, that could be it. Uh, that seems to be. He seems to fit that realm. I'll look, my, I'm going to look this uh, up. My, at, my Mayhem Mania uh, at home version didn't come with any dice. How do I write in to get a new pair? Um, send, I think the rules are missing. <laughs> I, I, I send it to the original uh, manufacturer at Vince McMahon on Twitter. And, There's no um, chance cards. <laughs> There's no uh, community chest. I no, no, no. You don't buy it. Don't buy it at a yard Somebody sale. Somebody stole my hotels. I ate some of the pieces. <laughs> he doesn't send it to Vince McMahon. He sends it to your favorite wrestler, who we have on during Christmas. The STDs. It, chest flexor. Chest flexor. But well, chest flexor Sweet, will just add chest flexor on Twitter, and, and he'll take it, care of it. It was Jericho. It was Jericho. Orton, ben, okay. Orton, Benoit, Jericho, Maven, defeating, <laughs> defeating team, <laughs> defeating <laughs> team Triple H, Triple H, Edge, Batista, and Snitsky. Oh, that, oh, that, oh, I'm sure that was your main event. I'm sure it's next week. <laughs> That's it. Wow. Um. On wow. that note. <laughs> That's weird. It wasn't um, his fault. Let's see. On a side note, PC Steel's in the, on the Twitter saying, that's true. Wrestling needs more naked gun simulator, simulators. Uh, go check out at Mayhem Show to find out why that <coughs> is. Um, sorry, I had another weird tweet. Uh, but anyways, uh, so so with that, let me know, gentlemen, lady, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, she's got one. I do. I learned that 10 is a magical number. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Sorry. Matt, since we're on you. Uh, I learned that maybe it'd be good oh. if Seth Rollins just stopped talking for a while. Really? Yeah, I think once you're talking about going to the, the, to the Triple H house and kidnapping the children. Uh, this is like too good for the PG and, and, he, and he's the face. Yeah, that was a little too ordinary for me. Are we gonna have yeah. another pre WrestleMania home invasion sure. angle sure. involving Triple H again? Sure, sure. Well, yeah. remember, it's, been, remember. it's been seven years. Except when he gets <laughs> what, Rollins breaks into the house and the three little girls are armed with sledgehammers and they beat the crap out of them. <laughs> they go over. Go for the knees. That's go for the happens. knees. And their WrestleMania match, they both pedigree each other right at the start. <laughs> oh, oh. He breaks into the wrong house and it's Paige's house and she goes, this is my house! <laughs> <laughs> Taker says, this is my and yard, that's though. that's how they get her back on TV. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Uh, you know, also, this is like the second year in a row that the McFan family has been under attack by a former S.H.I.E.L.D. member. 
That's true. That's true. Oh, right? I mean, oh, wow. like Roman yep. took out Vince and like yes. everybody. Right. So that's like we're kind of going to the well one too many times on this one. So in other words, you're saying they should watch out for Dean Ambrose next year. Yeah, pretty much. They're like, just put a watch, just put put him on, on notice there. Uh Bert Legrand, what did you learn this week? I learned that the appeal of made to order wrestling is still lost on me. The idea that just because fans want something to happen doesn't mean that it should happen. With, with the going back to the surprises of the Royal Rumble, yeah, oh, let thought... let things happen. Not Dan Sandwich or anything like that. Let <laughs> let things happen. <laughs> you know, local indie very reference. Very local indie <laughs> reference. Very very localized. And yes, there's a guy. There's a guy named Dan Sandwich, and he wears an MTO shirt. His gimmick is MTO, like, yeah. like NWO. Yeah, yeah. But uh, just you know, let let the show happen. Yeah, I think I think more than anything else, especially post Rumble, you know, let's let's just ride the road to WrestleMania together and see where it goes. Right. Enjoy it. Exactly. Larry, um, I learned uh, there's still hope for Raw. Oh yeah. <laughs> After this week, yeah, this was a good Raw. I enjoyed it. Good. That's all. Good. Good. Yeah. Let's go to the remotes and uh, Mad Mike. What'd you learn? Uh, I learned that I want to take the off-screen Triple H and Stephanie and replace them with the on-screen Triple H and Stephanie. Wait, you want the on-screen? St- the on-screen? I want. I want. I want what Triple H and Stephanie are actually like off-screen to be what they are on-screen. Okay. Yes. Because okay. I was watching that WWE twenty four seven documentary for last year's WrestleMania. And they're walking around Access, and Stephanie is pretending to do Triple H's entrance, and it's fucking adorable. Like, I want them to be the benevolent, the benevolent leaders, and I just want evil GMs. Like, that's yeah. what I want. I, we don't get – we just get way too many authority figures. That's what I learned. Right. Absolutely. I like it. I like it. What about you, Rob? I, I think kind of like what Bert was saying with the rumble, I learned that I enjoyed it more by, you know, there wasn't anything like, oh, I hope this happens or I hope, you know, or this was, you know, it was a lot more kind of unpredictable in a way because, and I was more invested because I was kind of less invested with the more of the angles they had going into it, you know, like the Brock and Goldberg and, you know, Taker and all that. So, you know, in the end, when like Randy wins it, it was like, oh, oh, okay, that was kind of, you know, it's different. It wasn't like you saw it coming like a mile away. And I'm less concerned about, you know, the the prospect of Cena and Orton round one million than I am. I'm less concerned with that and more interested in seeing what the next two months are going to look like. You know, what kind of twists and turns it might take to where either we don't end up with that or it's a different dynamic. Yes. You know, so it's I'm it made me, again, less worried about WrestleMania and more interested in the next two, three months worth of programming. I, you know, I, 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 if I can piggyback off of that a little bit, because I think yeah. I think I'm feeling a similar way because we were just that night talking about uh, how we completely shit on Orton and Cena at Royal Rumble here in Pittsburgh. Several years yeah. ago, that was a That's bad. That was a bad one. Got up and used the restroom and stuff, you know, was or like, the way or, or, or cheered everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I didn't like us that yeah. night. No, no, no. I, I was part of us. I didn't we like not, us that we night. We were not. We were not great people that night. Yeah. But and and, and, and the because of <laughs> the because of how good SmackDown has been doing, that you look at the same match happening and you look at the errors about them, what's been happening with Cena, what's been happening with Gordon, what's been happening with the rest of SmackDown, you're just like, yeah, no, I can see that again. You know? and, yeah. and they're essentially building it from scratch. It's not like this is the middle chapter of, of right. another right. few where it's like, oh, well, of course, one of them was going to win this to keep that going, you know, right. like, yeah, like yeah, with yeah. the Roman stuff the last couple of years, yeah. you know, where that was just the middle chapter of whatever the hell was going on at the time. <laughs> and Elimination Chamber yeah. can toss the entire thing yeah. up. Yeah. Too. Mm-hmm. No, it could be a three-way. It could be a, a, it could be, I don't know, a, 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 Orton and Dolph. It could be Orton and, and, and yeah. Bray. It could be... And, and with the title split again, that doesn't have to be the main event. You know, it could no, be no. like, oh, that would be a really interesting second or third from the top kind right, of right, story. Exactly. You know, it's not riding on... You know, the, the success of the show isn't riding on this one angle. 
right. going I, in. I, I still feel like it's it's not like a hundred percent what's going to happen with Owens at right. this point too, because right. we don't know what's going to happen fast lane yet, right? So so and, and no. Sorg, I'm not sure if you saw my tweet on this last night. Apparently, at a house show in White Plains, like a week before the Rumble, the matches are Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn for the Universal Title. There you go. And, and Braun versus Roman. We all want, so we probably won't get. Yep. <laughs> well, well, that reminds me of like last year when remember they they had Roadblock all of a sudden pop up as a which Roadblock? You know, well, it was the it was like, <laughs> yeah. you know, well, the yeah, beginning was, of the line. But, the beginning but it was it was it was one of those things where it's like, ooh, maybe they are going to switch the belt to Dean, but it was most likely just to kind of work the ring rust off of Triple H, you know, mm-hmm. to where. But it was still added that kind of extra level of interest to it, you know, like oh, something could happen on the way into Mania again, like a last minute kind of thing. Yeah, and we're getting another roadblock too. <laughs> oh, wait, is this seriously going to be a roadblock? I assume so with Rollins and Joe. That's fast lane. Is it? That's fast lane. Oh, fast lane. Because yeah, I think we'll get Rollins and Joe. Which is the exact opposite of Roadblock. They changed the name. They changed and you can the end name. up with like Roman and Joe at WrestleMania. At WrestleMania. No, there was a fast lane last year and there was a Roadblock. Yeah. yeah but, 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 there was, but there was no elimination chamber. There was no chamber. elimination chamber. We didn't have split the, the brands. Bro- this yeah. is a new. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. This is, okay. this is, Roadblock was just something each, they made up on the fly. Each brand has one pay-per-view. Yeah, exactly. It was like one of those special events. Exactly. Bobby, I don't think you went? No, I didn't go yet. Um. I learned uh, that Triple H's promo last night was one of the best promos in a long time yes. because it was thinly veiled as – it had like a double meaning. Like he was talking about him being a creator, now meet your destroyer. Not him, but Samoa Joe. Like he was talking about Joe the entire That's time. That was a plan B. Sword, yeah. Sword, uh, Bobby, it was mm. the end of Ghostbusters. Yeah. And – um. <laughs> Uh, what else was I going to say? Shoes and perish. I can't remember what, a, what the other thing was, so just that's it. Shoes and perish. The cr- <laughs> shoes and perish. The crowd wanted Samoa Joe, and he appeared just a <laughs> little, just a day late. <laughs> little, I, a little bit smaller than Stay Puft. It, it was a different yeah. Samoan name. He's a little shorter. Yeah. I, I thought of really tall I thought of the most harmless, soft, and and plushy thing that I can possibly think of: Samoa Joe. <laughs> <laughs> no way he could destroy me. He's like a Care Bear. Yes. <laughs> it's like a very violent he Care Bear. Kind of look like it's like I've heard him on a bunch of podcasts. He seems like a really nice guy. You know? Yeah, you know, you know. He was I good. Mean, he was good on the table for three episodes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Excellent in yeah. hats. Had good manners. <laughs> wonderful hats. Wonderful hats. Um. Anyways, <laughs> wow, guys, it's been so much fun. First of all, thank you, Bert Legrand, for joining us once again thank on the show. Me. Becoming part of uh, Mayhem Mania history. Love it. <laughs> I'm Mutilator Larry. Yes, sir. On the Twitters. Were you going to grab the mic? I don't know what's happening. I was waving. Oh, oh, it's a wave. It's a wave for, <laughs> for the podcast people out there. Mad <laughs> Mike up in Poughkeepsie, New York. Mad Mike 4883 on the Twitters. And the Midweek War, which may, may be more midweek here this week. Yeah, I have things going on Thursday, so we'll see what happens when it happens. I may even do an open fight night podcast. Oh, no. Oh, no. Open podcast oh, night. No. Um, open, open mic night. Oh. Hashtag yeah. open mic night. With Opa. Mike spelled M I K. It's like his name, guys. Opa podcast <laughs> style. That, that's neat. There Thank you, you Ross. Go. Thank you, Ross. Rob Brown. Yes. He's Rob Brown, PA78. You can see him on the internet. It's there. Or uh, behind the camera at IWC and RWBA shows uh, from time to time. Yes. There you go. I've, and I've got, was it, oh, God, was it the 11th? What's going on the 11th? That's Ring of Honor. Oh, no, we'll be at Ring of, no, I'm thinking that's Ring of, eight. yeah, that's Ring of Honor, the 18th, well, you know, I'll just be watching it. <laughs> um, I'll be attending. The, Join me in the crowd. <laughs> Join me in the crowd at Ring of Honor. You too can me. hang out with Rob. Look for me at Rose. Yeah, the, the 18th, I'll be, I'll be working Joe Dombrowski's premier championship wrestling in Pittsburgh. Oh. Or not Pittsburgh, Wait, Cleveland, Cleveland, rather. Cleveland. Yeah, and then I think yeah, it's I think I'll be working the Penguins game on the twenty fifth, so I won't be at. Oh, he NBC. also works. He also works what? the Steelers games, by the way, too. Yeah, Rob's everywhere. Yeah. You're that Rob I Brown for the Penguins, I, like way back in the that, day. Oh no, I hear there's a Rob doesn't, Brown. Doesn't show. <laughs> you look good for your age. <laughs> yeah. Good job, oh, yeah. Matt Carlin's yeah. mainstream Matt. Rob, I don't have any kids mom. that kind of keeps you younger. I don't know. Watch the morning news. Channel two. <laughs> Stay tuned for Talking Mayhem Mania. There you go. Uh, Missy, at Wife of the Show. Hi. 
No, no, we're saying we're leaving. <laughs> bye. You say bye. Oh, bye. Okay, bye. There you go. <laughs> At Sorgatron on the Twitter. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. That is the wrong microphone. <laughs> WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Follow us, tweet us, uh, uh, share the show, share the mayhem, and we'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.